Hello everyone, we will continue the interface part. In the previous video, we created the structure and table type of BPAK. And based upon that, we declare the internal table and work areas of VPAK. Now, same way, we will do it for VPAP. So, I'll go to SC11 transaction code and we will create a structure of VPAP now. So, I will give some name ZSTR VBAP underscore serial number. I'll go to create button. I'll go for structure of VBAP, VBAP structure. Now we will take the columns, whatever the columns are required for VBAP. Best way, I will open the table VBAP and we will copy paste from there. First column, VBELN. I'll pass the data element of VBELN. Second column, POSNAR. I'll pass the data element of POSNAR. Third column will be amount. And ETWR, we'll see. And ETWR, this is an ETWR. We'll pass the data element of an ETWR. Now we will go for currency. Currency is W A E R K. W A E R K. I'll pass the data element W A E R K. We all know that quantity and amount always require a reference table and reference field. So I'll go for currency slash quantity field tabs. So this is our reference table and what is our reference column for the currency is WAER. I'll check the syntax and activate the structure. So our VBAP structure is ready. Now I will create a table type for VBAP. VBAP table type. I'll pass the name of the structure which we created for VBAP. I will activate it. Now I will declare the internal table and work areas in the global data of global data of our interface. I'll click on to append row. I will declare internal table for VBAP. Internal table type table type. This is our table type name. Now similar way, I will declare work area for VBAP. Type. I will declare the work area. Work area is type structure. So, so far what we did in the interface, we took one input parameter in the import tab of form interface. We declare four internal table and work areas in the global data. Same way you are doing in smart forms also. Now you all know in the smart form, you wrote the logic always in the initialization tab. Here also we will go to code initialization and we will write the logic because it's the same to same concept. I'll go to code initialization and we will write a logic. 
So firstly, we will write a query to fetch data from VBAK. Then we will write a query to fetch data from VBAK. Select. First column, VBELN, ERDAT, ERZET, ERNUM, VB type. We are fetching data of five columns from VBAK table. We'll store into internal table, into table. Our internal table is LT underscore VBAK. Now we will go for where condition. What will be the where condition to fetch data from VBAK? Where VBELN is equal to. We all know the input to this Adobe form, input to this interface is in the import. And what is your input name? P underscore VBELN. Same way you are doing in smart forms also. Now, what we will do, we'll go for now fetching data from VBAP table. So I will write if first internal table is not initial, now we will fetch data from second table. Select VBELN postnar and ETWR and the fourth column is WAERKS currency. We'll fetch data from VBAP table into table, internal table. Our internal table is VBAP. We all know how to fetch data from secondary table or dependent tables for all entries in first internal table. First internal table is VBAK, where VBELN is equal to first internal table VBELN. Now, We'll go for input and output parameters based upon the queries. I'll click on to append row button. If you see in the first query, your input is P underscore VBELN and your output is going to internal table LT underscore VBA. In your second query, your output is going to internal table LT underscore VBAP. So we will take LT underscore VBAP as output parameter. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So from the interface perspective, everything is done. See, we have not designed the layout yet layout designing is separately we firstly finish with all internal table work areas logic part so everything we done in the interface if you remember this is the first point we learned while starting with the topic that you have to create an interface and in the interface you have to write your all logic parts all declarations of variable internal table work areas now in the next video we will start with the layout designing part and we will use that interface there so that's it in this video thank you